Welcome, my dear Sagittarius, to your weekly reading, the 23rd to the 29th of May. We're going to start off with the Oracle cards just to get a general idea of the main energies coming in for you this week. I'm then going to pull tarot cards to get further insight and information. If this reading does not resonate with you, whoopsie, if this reading does not resonate with you, please go ahead and look at your moon rising and Venus signs as those um, readings might have more relevant information for you. Right. Let's see what we have for our lovely Sagittarius. Okay, so the first thing we've got is trust. So there's going to be something about this week. Maybe it's a message coming in. Maybe somebody's going to tell you something and you've got the message here to trust. Now, when I see this, it's about you trusting your inner feeling. So whatever comes in this week, trust the way you feel about it is right. If it feels good, it's good. If something feels off, trust that feeling. Don't second guess it because there's something going on. But we'll take a, a deeper look at the um, tarot to see what's going on there. The next card we get is your root chakra. chakra. Now this root chakra is like the, the first chakra. It's like the base of your spine. And it basically stimulates the sense of security, everything to do with security in the physical world. So there's something about the, your, the security. We've got trust here and security in the physical world. Um, we're going to look at that to see what it is that just needs to be focused on. And we'll, we'll just kind of get a further insight on these two things. For me, it's, they're probably very much aligned, but I'm going to pull the tarot to see what that it is. And then we get the lovely bee spirit. Sweet results await. So it tells us that something to do with your security. Now, when we look at the security on the physical level, it's to do like with your home, your finances, everything that's a, that is um, providing security and safe, safety on the physical level. Something's going to come in that you need to trust your gut feeling about it. And we've been told sweet results await. So let's have a look at that. We're now going to pull some terror for our lovely Sagittarius to see yeah, let's look at this. These are all jumped out. We've got the nine of the nine of uh, pentacles. We've got the um, ace of pentacles. We've got the two of cups, the four of wands. That looks really nice. Two more cards. We've got the nine of swords and we've got the three of wands. Okay. Sagittarius. I think this this looks actually looks incredibly incredibly nice. Um, there is going to be um, an offer. There's definitely an offer here. There's definitely an opportunity. Um, something comes up. Something comes up. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is the hand of God with a, with a with a opportunity. Okay, it's an opportunity to get out of the comfort zone and walk through the gates into the big wide world okay but there is something this is mental energy okay i think this is basically your root chakra if there's something that you you fear here you've got a there's some fear that, that this offer trick triggers it could just be um getting out of your comfort zone maybe you don't feel you're ready for this big uh, this big offer, this big whatever it is, because it looks quite incredible. But the thing that's coming through here is there's something that's kind of going to shake up your root chakra. So just remember that this, you see this red coat is kind of being mirrored by the red um, of the chakra. So it tells me this is very much something you, you, you don't want to take this chance because there's a bit, there is a little bit of fear involved and this is this mental energy. So what I would really strongly suggest is you've just got to see what's causing this fear. What's at the base of this fear? Is it just that you don't want to get out of your comfort zone? Is it this, is this offer so big and there's so much uh, possibility here because I've got the four of wands and which is, as you can see, is like, it's a celebration. It's a celebration, the nine of pentacles, it's complete financial independence, feeling good about yourself, looking good. 
This is the three of wands, which tells me like all your plans and hopes and dreams start coming into fruition. So maybe it feels too too good that you don't that you don't trust it. Could be something like that. Um, you just or it could be like a big leap of faith. So the best thing is really is now with the root chakra it tells me you need to get grounded. So I'm going to recommend two things. The first thing to get grounded is to go outside, take off your shoes and walk on, if it's in a park or a beach, anywhere to walk barefoot on the, on, on the ground. Okay, so there's nothing between you and the ground. This is a wonderful way to get grounded. And is if you can imagine as you're walking, the beautiful roots grounding you to the earth. Okay, Mother Nature supporting you, loving you, and you can imagine these beautiful roots going up from the earth into your feet and, and grounding your entire body. Another great thing to do is, if you're able to do, is to take an Epsom salts bath. It's also wonderful. And actually, a third thing, which is also incredible, you've, there's a lot of root chakra um, meditations on YouTube. I would highly, highly recommend that. And I'll tell you why. We've got the B spirit, which tells me sweet results await. And look at the sweet results. There is so many sweet results here. So many, okay? It's just about you overcoming whatever this mental energy is that's putting in this fear, okay, that's making you doubt yourself, that's making you not want to step out of your comfort zone. Whatever it is, you just need to get to the root of it and really trust that the universe has your back and take a leap of faith. There you have it, my lovely Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Have a wonderful week. If you like the reading, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and I'm sending you all lots of love.